Uh, I've been at the gambling treatment clinic for just under 10 years now. When I first started, we pretty much didn't see anyone who had a problem with sports betting. And now it's almost, you know, a quarter to a third of our clients uh, reporting problems with sports betting. What we're finding is that they're almost exclusively men. We never see a woman um, who's gone on to develop a problem with sports betting. Um, so we're looking at, you know, men in their early 20s, early 30s. So a lot of the advertising around sports betting does promote that, you know, it's a normal thing. It's something that you should be doing with your mates. It's, you know, a typical thing to do on a night out. So what we're seeing these days is the increasing gamblification of sport. Gambling is seen as an integral component of sports. You know, when we're discussing sports now, the discourse is a lot about, you know, what is this team paying? What is this outcome going to pay? A lot of sporting codes are becoming increasingly reliant on revenue that's flowing from betting. Um, so over time, you know, these things become, you know, inextricably linked. It's, you can't even think about one without the other. In terms of the effects of advertising on children when we're talking about sports betting is, you know, to be honest, we just don't know yet because it's something that is still relatively new. For most of us who have grown up watching sport where there wasn't necessarily this gambling advertising, it's still something that sometimes seems a bit odd, seems a bit um, out of place. But for children who have sort of grown up with that, they're not going to see it that way. They're going to see gambling and sport as these two things that just belong together, which is going to make them more at risk of developing a gambling problem in the future. The question of who is responsible for controlling gambling behaviour, is it the gambler, is it the betting companies? That's not a question that research can answer. That is a question that I guess that society has to answer.